Chapter 17 Excuse me? It would have been funny if I hadn't been so terrified. Are you telling me you morphed into a flea? A flea? Yeah, I'm on your back. Or your head. I can't tell. I don't really have eyes. At least, not eyes that see anything I can understand. I mean, all I know is warm or not warm. I... I think I can sense blood. That's about it. And I can kind of sense motion. Like when your hair stood up. I knew there was something going on around me. Jake, this is sick. This is beyond sick. What is the matter with you? A flea? Are you insane? Just being a lizard made you sick. This is way worse. Actually, it's kind of okay, he said. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but the flea mind is so limited, it's not hard at all to control. All it knows is to move toward the sense of warm blood and eat. It's like, I don't know, like in a way I'm not even really in the flea because I can't see much or sense much. I expected it to be horrible, but when Cassie and Marco and I tested it out, they're in on this with you? Of course. That's why Cassie had made such a point of patting my head. She was depositing Jake on me. Rachel, we were worried about you. We figured someone should go along with you. Tobias said, Ah, so Tobias is in on this too. Tobias said you were not telling us everything. He wasn't sure why, or what it was you weren't telling. I sighed inwardly. I guess it's good to have friends who care about you. But on the other hand, Jake had practically made me run into Chapman. Besides, the idea of Jake morphing into a flea and crawling around in my fur just gave me the worst creeps you can imagine. Suddenly, the brilliant light went on. Visser 3 appeared in the room. Jake, the Visser is here in hologram, so don't distract me, okay? We're hiding under the desk about half an inch away from Chapman's foot. Oh, but it doesn't matter if he sees you, right? I mean, he'll just figure you're a cat. No biggie. So you shouldn't be acting suspicious. I hesitated. Oh well, it would have to come out sooner or later. Um, Jake, that thing I didn't tell you? It's that Visser 3 saw me in here last time. He told Chapman he should probably just, you know, kill me. He was worried I might be an Andalite and morph. For a while, Jake didn't say anything. I had the feeling he was trying to keep himself from yelling at me. He failed. Rachel, are you crazy? You came back down here after that? Are you insane? But just then, Chapman began to speak. Welcome, Visser. Innis 226 of the Sultnyar Pool submits to you. May the Kandrona shine and strengthen you. And you, Visser 3 said curtly. Report. I have four new voluntary hosts, Visser, Chapman said. Two are children, recruited through the Sharing, the Front Organization. Of the two adults, one is an agent for the FBI, a sort of policeman. He may be very- FOOL! Visser Three's artificial voice was flat, but still carried a load of anger. Do I care about a handful of hosts? What have you learned of the Andalite bandits? Visser, what can I do, unless they show themselves? They used Earth animals in the attack on the pool, Visser 3 said. They used powerful, dangerous Earth animals. Find out how they obtain such morphs. My experts here tell me such animals are rare on this part of the planet. Yes, Visser. I will do- Yes, you will. And we have another matter. We need six more human controllers, suitable for work as guards. They will be used to increase the guard around the Kendrona. What's happening? Jake asked. Chapman is getting reamed by Visser 3. Too bad Marco isn't here. He'd enjoy seeing Chapman get chewed out. He wants us bad, I said. Or at least he wants the Andalites he thinks we are. He's putting extra guards around the Kendrona. Human controllers. That's interesting. Maybe he'll... The foot moved too quickly. The point of the shoe hit me in the ribs. <coughs> Chapman pushed back from the desk. He passed right through the Visser 3 hologram. For a second, I saw them united, as if they were one horrible creature. What's happening? Visser 3 demanded. Chapman stared at me, horror and fury in his eyes. 
I flattened my ears back against my skull. My claws came out. My teeth were bared. It's the animal, Visser. The cat, Chapman said in a voice full of loathing and fear. Visser Three seemed to make a seething, half-hissing noise. You should have killed it when I told you to, Innis-226. But Visser, Chapman protested. And yet it all works out to my advantage, Visser Three said. Now there can be no doubt that this cat is one of the Andalite bandits. Jake, we're busted, I said. We're busted really bad. We will no longer have to search for the Andalites, Visser Three said. We have one right here with us. Shall I kill it? Chapman asked. No, don't kill it. Seize it. Seize it now, before it can morph back into Andalite shape. By the time I am done with this one, we will have them all. It has been a long time since I tortured a proud Andalite warrior, but I know how to break them. Seize it and bring it to me. Chapman knew better than to argue. 